Welcome to Chalk Talk, presented by Option Central, the premier source for all things option football. Featuring the play of the day with coach Tony DeMeo. Play of the day Chalk Talks are recorded and edited by CompuSports, publisher and distributor of football coaching software and information since 1984. Now sit back and get your pencil and paper ready as coach Tony DeMeo presents another play of the day. Hi, this is Tony DeMeo, and today we're going to talk about one of the great complimentary plays to the gun triple. <clears throat> it's the quarterback ISO. Now, Paul Johnson and the Flexbone people have made a living on quarterback follow. Well, the quarterback ISO is the triple gun answer to that play, only it's better because it gives the quarterback a chance for a cutback and also, it gives the quarterback a chance to better read the uh, tailback's block. Okay, let's take a look at it and see how this works. Now, this will be against a 4-4 defense and, as a matter of fact, the best defense in our league. Okay, let's look at how this lines up. Now, one thing, if you notice... Uh, this is a 4-4 defense. So this linebacker right here is going to come hard on uh, a blitz. So this is the toughest situation to run this play, quarterback ice. Now notice this slot takes a little bit wider split to widen this outside backer up a little bit of the strong safety. But this is an eight-man front, and this is the absolute worst situation to run this particular play okay let's look at it and see the result now look at this this linebacker is already blitzing and is in the backfield our tailback now has a very very difficult block to make he makes contact the quarterback ducks through. Watch this wide out make a key block. Boom. And we have a touchdown. A game-breaking touchdown. Okay, let's look at uh, how this is going to be blocked. Right here, we're going to get a double team on the one technique. Back to the backside backer. We're going to turn out on the five technique here. And base block the three technique over here and base block the five technique over here, the six technique. Notice the slot right here is a little bit wider. Notice the slots out here, when I'm circling is a little bit wider. So he widens this outside backer a little bit. Okay, we're gonna get a block here, a double here on the nose, a block on the three technique, a turn out on this uh, defensive end. And the tailback is going to have this blitzing linebacker, which he does a great job right there. And the quarterback is going to slip through. Okay, let's look at it now from the end zone shot. There's the key block right there. Now, notice how the triple option action draws this linebacker over the top and running to the perimeter. Now, he has a shot to make a play on the quarterback, but look at, look at the gaping hole right here that the quarterback has to run through. That's going to be a tough thing for this a uh, linebacker to tackle a, a nifty quarterback in space. And he doesn't. Now it's off to the races. Here's the key block right here to finish off the play. And there you have it. Okay. Let's go to the uh, chalkboard, look at the assignments, and see how it's drawn up. But this is a great complimentary play to the gun triple. Okay, let's look at the assignments. 
the quarterback's first look is still flash right here. If this will is in the box here and uh, the quarterback wants to, he can throw flash and turn it into a one-on-one -on -one situation with our uh, X and our uh, corner and the, and the uh, cornerback. He doesn't take it. And the X winds up going downfield and later throwing a key block, as you saw in the video. The play side slot, the play side wide out uh, stalks the uh, corner to his side. The play side slot blocks the strong safety. And that's why he took a little bit bigger split. We turn out on the defensive end, double the nose to the backside backer. Now, in this case, the center is going to protect backside uh, 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 A gap back here, uh, backside B gap, my bad. And he's going to have this, this uh, mic if he comes. Well, the mic in this case ran to the perimeter because the Sam blitzed. So the mic was making up for that time. So they just stayed on the double team of the nose. We turned out on the three technique, B gap, turned out on the end C gap. So it was A gap, B gap, C gap, all blocked, play side A gap blocked by the guard. So it's just ISO blocking. It's really the same as veer blocking, except the tackle is gonna block the handoff key. The tailback is responsible for the play side backer, which you saw the, the great block on the blitz. The backside slot is in motion, and he's going his the speed of his motion really draws everybody outside. So you actually saw the end moving out, <coughs> and the linebacker moving out, <coughs> and the safety actually moving over this way. The quarterback hit the hole, cut back, and he was gone. And that's how that play worked. Um, the quarterback made the, the great move on the uh, place on the backside backer who overran the play. And that's how we had a 67 yard touchdown. Okay, let's look at the play in its entirety on our video. And now that you know the assignments, you'll check it out and see how it works. You've been watching Chalk Talk, featuring the play of the day with Coach Tony DeMeo. Recording and editing by CompuSports, publisher and distributor of football coaching software and information since 1984. Play of the Day Chalk Talks are a production of Option Central, the premier site for all things option football. Ready to improve your option football coaching skills? It's time to join OptionCentral.net right now.